Not every historical mystery is destined to be rediscovered by us. Many ancient artifacts still lie dormant to the ground, some of which will probably never be brought back to light. The archaeologists are therefore making their exciting search for clues all the more intensive. In order to understand the lives of our ancestors as precisely as possible, the recovery of everyday objects, sacred objects, and ruined buildings is of immeasurable value. While many such finds help us add another piece to the puzzle of history, other discoveries only raise more questions. In fact, some finds turn out to be so strange that they give reason to question conventional historiography. The exciting artifacts that we're going to present to you today also hit the headlines because of their unusual character. Stay tuned for haunting sanctuaries, mysterious languages, and ancient currency. Let's get started. Before we get things rolling, be sure to hit the like button and ring the notification bell for more videos. Also, stick around until the end to learn about a recent discovery that archaeologists simply cannot explain. Holy Tongue The Portuguese priest Antonius von Padua had a very special gift an extraordinary eloquence. As a result, the clergyman quickly became the most important preacher of his time, succeeding in converting many people to Christianity and solving political conflicts through the power of his words alone. But that's not all. Many stories also tell of the miracle worker Antonius. According to this, he once had a sermon in front of fish, during which the slippery water dwellers hung spellbound on the priest's lips. If you like, the most important tool of the minister of God was his tongue, and exactly that part of the body is worshipped as a holy relic to this day. After Antonius died in 1231, his body was exhumed in 1263. According to legend, by then his body had already turned to dust, except for his tongue. And the magnificently decorated tongue is still exhibited in the Basilica of St. Anthony, where it has attracted pilgrims from all over the world for many centuries. Ancient Banknote did you know that people paid with banknotes 1,000 years ago? While we often think of jingling bags of coins, banknotes were already in circulation at the time, at least in China. During the Song Dynasty, the first paper money in history was introduced. An exciting find from 2016 shows us what the Chinese means of payment looked like back then. At the time, a lucky finder came across a banknote that had been placed in a wooden Buddha sculpture. The imperial seals and an official authorization from the Ministry of Finance documented the authenticity of the money. At the same time, there was also a warning on the note. Anyone who tried to counterfeit a banknote was punished with death. In order to keep the value of the currency stable, collateral in the form of silver and silk was stored. In fact, however, it was not long before inflation took hold. The auction that followed proved that the centuries-old find had lost none of its value. The finder auctioned off the bill for a good $35,000. Darren Kuyu what prompted people hundreds of years ago to build a full-fledged city underground? This is exactly the question that experts have been asking since Darren Kuyu was accidentally discovered in 1963. That mysterious underground place, which is located in the small Turkish town of the same name, has not yet been fully unraveled. So far, eight floors of the underground city have been uncovered, covering a total area of 2,500 square meters. While the upper floors were probably primarily used for living and sleeping quarters, the complex also contained a monastery, meeting rooms, storage areas, and even a dungeon. Other rooms functioned as churches, which were used by the residents for underground church services. But who were these residents? Some researchers suspect that Darren Kuyu was once built by Christians to protect themselves from persecutors. In fact, it's now considered certain that the complex was used by Christian residents between the 6th and 10th centuries and brought into its present form. But were they also the creators of Darren Kuyu? 
Quite a few experts believe that the history of the secret city goes back much further. So it's conceivable that it was the Hittites who built the underground settlement more than 4,000 years ago. However, not only the history of its origins, but also the question of the number of inhabitants repeatedly causes heated debates in the ranks of experts. While one side assumes that a maximum of 3,000 people lived there at the same time, others put the number of residents at 50,000. No less exciting than the discovery of Darren Kuyu was the realization that this was by no means an isolated case. So far, more than 30 other underground cities have been found in the surrounding region. Playing Cards In 2011, a restorer was commissioned to bring an almost 500-year-old book into shape. The document recorded judgments made by a Swiss court in the 16th century. However, as the woman began to work, she made an amazing discovery. The cover of the book contained an almost complete set of centuries-old playing cards. But how did it happen that the cards were in a court book? Had they been put there and simply forgotten? Well, it's not quite like that. In fact, the cards served to reinforce the book cover. Since paper was very expensive in those days, bookbinders often used old scraps of paper that were no longer needed for reinforcement. In detail, the rare find was a jazz card game that's still popular in Switzerland today. Since the cards are adorned with the basal coat of arms, we know where they were once made. The fact that the jazz cards were used in an official court book of all things is something of an irony of fate. In fact, playing cards was considered a sinful vice at the time, which the authorities used all means to combat. Larabanga Mosque the year is 1421 when a merchant named Ayuba has an incredible experience. In a dream, the devout Muslim was commissioned to build a mosque next to a mystical stone. When Ayuba opened his eyes the next morning, the foundation was already in place, so nothing stood in the way of building the Larabanga Mosque. At least, that's what an ancient legend from the region tells. What is certain is that the Islamic House of Worship has adorned the eponymous village in Ghana for many centuries. Built as a traditional mud building, the Larabanga Mosque is part of an illustrious group. There are only eight mosques in the whole country that were built in this way. We owe the fact that we can still marvel at the building today to the intensive commitment of the local population and international financial injections. In the 1970s, the mosque was in dire need of renovation. However, the restoration work went so wrong that the building subsequently suffered from rot and termite infestation. When the mosque was partially destroyed by a severe storm, it was given a place on the World Monuments Fund list. This is how the building now shines again in its former glory. Lost Language in 2008, a document was recovered from the ruins of an old Spanish colonial church testifying to the existence of a long-lost language. In detail, it was the back of a 400-year-old letter. There, an unknown Spanish author had tried to decode the language of an indigenous Peruvian people. The anonymous author had translated Spanish and Arabic numerals into a mysterious language alien to any modern scientist. Even if we don't yet know exactly what this lost language is all about, it could have been borrowed from Quechua. This is a group of closely related indigenous language varieties that are still spoken in the Andean region. The church in northern Peru where the letter was found was once part of a town that was home to many indigenous people. These had been forcibly resettled by the Spaniards in order to convert them to Christianity. However, one day the church collapsed and the documents kept in it were buried. The discovery of the new language shows once again how diverse the indigenous cultures of South America really were. Each group had its own unique customs, religious beliefs, and sometimes languages. Maya Canoe Ever wondered how the Maya traveled by water? 
The remarkably well-preserved wooden canoe recently discovered in Mexico gives us an authentic glimpse into the days long past. The approximately 1,000-year-old boat was discovered in a so-called senate. This is a natural entry hole that leads to water-filled caves. The canoe, which is one and a half meters long and not even a meter wide, may have been used to fetch water from the Senate or to place offerings there. However, the ancient boat wasn't the only treasure that archaeologists recovered from the cave. In addition, they found fascinating wall paintings, a ceremonial knife, and ceramic fragments there. If archaeologists are correct in their dating, then the canoe was created during the Mayan Golden Age. During this heyday, the civilization encompassed around 40 cities and numbered up to 10 million members. Book found in 1600s shipwreck Back in 2019, a team of Russian researchers uncovered a shipwreck that had sunk to the bottom of the Baltic Sea sometime in the 18th century. When they searched through this shipwreck, they uncovered many documents that some people believe may shed some light on how humans became what we are today. One of the artifacts they uncovered was an ancient book believed to have been at least 295 years old. The book was very strangely shaped and, in more recent years, has been dated to the year 1692. It was written in German and, unfortunately, the title of the book was destroyed after spending many years underwater. We know that the title began with the words, The Life Story Of, but the rest of it has been lost to time. What makes this book extremely interesting to historians is that the cover of the book shows a picture of a man and a woman. The illustrations have allowed some historians to believe that the original title would have likely read The Life Story of Mankind. However, this is only a theory. It's believed that the book is an ancient form of the Bible and that it could contain psalms that are not included in the traditional Christian Bible. Researchers believe that these ancient psalms may shed new light on the creation of man. However, unfortunately, only 50 of the 500 pages could be investigated, as they fear that further research may result in the book being completely destroyed, as it is incredibly degraded after spending so many years underwater. The House of the Harpist in the 1980s, archaeologists in Arles, France were busy examining 18th-century glassworks. Unexpectedly, however, during their excavations, researchers uncovered several Roman artifacts dating back to the 2nd century AD. Over time, it became clear the glass production facility had once been built over the estate of a wealthy Roman. The magnificent presentation of his home shows how highly regarded the owner was at the time. The ceilings and walls were decorated with extraordinary frescoes, which have now been rediscovered. Apparently, the house was demolished just a few decades after its completion in order to erect a new building on its site. Luckily, many of these unique murals survived the demolition unscathed. The experts are currently working flat out to put the images back together. Some motifs have already been identified. Some paintings resemble buildings, others people. This includes the depiction of a woman playing a harp, which gave the house its name. Chinese Mummy Unexpected things often happen. What began as routine road construction quickly developed into an archaeological sensation. In 2011, some workers near the city of Taizhou came across a coffin that was over 600 years old. The unbelievable thing, the corpse was still in surprisingly good condition after all this time. Thus, the clothes, skin, and even hair of the deceased were still intact. It was thanks to the damp grave that the body escaped natural decomposition. The unusually low oxygen water inhibited bacteria that would normally decompose the remains. Therefore, it's likely that the preservation of the mummy was purely accidental. The type of burial and the sumptuous clothing suggest that the deceased was an influential member of the Ming Dynasty. This was in power in China between the years 1368 and 1644. Let us know what you think. Which discovery fascinated you the most? We're already looking forward to your comments. 
give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed our detour into the world of archaeological finds. Also, while you're at it, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell so you'll never miss a video again. Finally, take a look at the other posts on our channel that we've linked for you here in the credits. Thank you for watching, have a good one, and see you next time.